Hi, Superspruce here, back with another Ordinal Morka video, episode 56, and I have 500 million factory boosts per second. This means I, could, I have unlocked new Omega challenges. So here we go. I'm just going to read their descriptions. Factor shifts in the second incrementing upgrade are much more expensive. I need E93 incrementing. Factor shifts are cheaper everywhere you go. That's the reward. Olive power multiplier is stuck at 0 0.001 times. And that's just E50 incrementing. Olive power is stronger. That's the reward. This is you cannot normally buy. Singularity functions upgrade and the singularity is stuck at 1. Can also cannot enter re, um, normal challenges. Goals E85 increment. The reward is base raise base increment gain to the 1.1 or some, something like that. So I think before I want to do anything like that, I think, I mean, I, I don't know, it, it's safe to just collapse. I think I just want to get some of the other Omega challenges because I think Omega challenge 1 plus, I think it's 1 plus 2. I can get a whole bunch of completions of that. And then with that, I'll be able to get more completions of Omega Challenges 2 and 3. So that, that's what I'll do. So 1, 2, um, and if I just get the right upgrades here. Um, okay, I think my singularity is about 1. No, it's not even that. I just want to just wanna get incrementing. What am I doing? Just get that and then increase the singularity and maybe... No, increasing singularity does nothing. Mega challenge. Oh yeah, I just need this, and this. Yeah, you know, once I get that, that just helps a ton. And E seventy five incrementing. It's a little bit more than before. I think what I'm. I have like E eighty incrementing, and um. And the thing is that what I what I had before was it was like E seventy two or seventy three. So this is yeah. It's about two thirds of a completion of an Omega Challenge. So, yeah, I guess I can just exit this. I'm now gonna try going into Omega Challenge. Let's see, I'm gonna do three. Um, actually, no, I'll I'll do two first. So, let's see. I, this is I think I just need um better. I think I just want incrementing. I forgot what Omega Challenge 2 is about, but all doublings are disabled and you cannot enter even number of challenges. So I think what I just want to do is I wanted to turn this off so I can just get incrementy and just get as much as I can, even though actually those upgrades do nothing. So um, let's see, what, what what was the record of this? It's E76. I probably, yeah, it's probably a singularity function build. Just do the same as always. This is the best build for most scenarios. I should be getting those upgrades and increase the singularity. Um, what's the best here? 64, 65, something like that. So this is going to give me, again, some more completions of the challenge. Now the best part about this is that this boosting all doubling is now going to be all the way up to 3.55 times. So that's pretty nice. Now go into Omega Challenge 3, Get now I can get these doublers, and then just get a better singularity level here, and of course make a build, it's the same as always now, just, I still don't want to like do the buy max singularity functions because it's just going to buy this and this, and that's useless. I mean, I can now buy it all, but this goes way down, like the effect of this upgrade, so yeah, just get... I need a better singularity, something like this, 89 incrementing per second. So that's pretty good. I, I, I mean, it, it's not going to be all that powerful, but it's at least another completion. Like, it at least helps a little bit. So now there's something else I want to do that's actually pretty important. This is, I, I know, I know this episode's about my challenges 4 through 6, but I really want to get the, I feel like, these are going to be too hard if I don't get a good amount of completions with the other challenges. So I'm going to do 1 and 8. And this is the, the weird one, the one where I have to get decrementing. And I think just, like the last time I did this, I had like 10 less singularity levels. So I think that's really going to um, be like change the game. So 
course boosters I want to get this and this and probably this and I want to get I probably want to get this and all of these yeah I definitely want to do that and then I want to probably get I'm not sure if I want to let, let's see if I just do this I can get farther I probably want to get um I can probably get all of these now which helps I'm not sure if I even need to get another challenge a goal so I'm not even gonna get that one I'm just gonna get these and yeah here it is ee51 decrementing so I somehow got that first try it's not gonna be all that much it's still going to help quite a bit it's enough to get me a couple more singularity levels that's now my max is 122 I can probably get a couple of these I will probably want to wait just like maybe 10 minutes or so so I can try to get some more singularity levels out of this so I, I, I know but I really think these oh my god these these last three are gonna be so tough that it's like I really need to do this okay I think this is a good at least checking to see like how like how much I can get points so let's see one two um, I need three so I need so now I have my singular level is 125 I need 5.846 E54 dark manifolds let's see how many I have if I'm close to it I'll get it if I'm not close to it I won't get it so I'm at through okay I'm, I'm close to it that I consider that close so I will get this last singularity level which is that means I will have a singularity level of 126 and then I will exit this challenge and actually go into the new ones so here we go factor shifts the second incrementing upgrade are much more expensive so hmm I'm I don't know even what base I'm at base six I'm close enough to Omega to the Omega squared that I think this is the first factor shift I need e106 ordinal points for that yikes I don't think doing the singularity level will help at all guess I can make a bill here which I'm definitely gonna need that just get get the normal build that's enough to get that's enough to get the e106 so now I, I'm in base five I think and now I'm in base seven and I need e136 ordinal points how is this even possible maybe 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 I want to get the maybe um, no that, that isn't even doing something I've um, maybe if I get the singularity function no not even that I want to get auto procedures factor shift no not even that it's I don't want to auto buy the booster upgrades now I can try to refund and um, let's, let's see where even is it he, here it is so I have 71 that's just barely not enough I need seven more to get this upgrade that's really annoying and I'm, I'm yeah I can't really do anything I mean I could do this but that's about it I'm, I'm not sure if I can do this one so maybe I can just exit the challenge I mean this is why I wanted to get the challenge completions but it just wasn't enough even with this 7.89 times boost so let's try on mega challenge 5 maybe this one will be better all the power multipliers stuck at at 0 0 1 so okay maybe now I can get the auto booster and maybe I want to get this now or maybe maybe not so I'm at one ordinal point. okay I probably need to do some of this manually um, yikes this is already a yikes I can get that many ordinal points 16 ordinal points I'm, I need a thousand to factor shift or not a thousand but yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to do some some stuff like this manually. Even with like all this, like I can, I actually it's just it's just permanently stuck. So that's not. Of course, I I am forgetting about this. I don't know why this resets every time, but hopefully this will do something for me. Now I can get 86 or no points. So I guess that's a pretty big improvement because now all I need is omega to the power of. Th and we're gonna get the power of three times four. 
to get the 200 ordinal points I need to factor shift. So here we go. One more factor shift. Now I have to get a thousand ordinal points, but I'm in base five. So I think I need omega to the power of four times two to get that. And I think it's just worth it to just be clicking like this instead of doing a the normal instead of using automation. So this is slow, but maybe it's doable. What I'm really worried about is that I think the third factor shift, I have to go down to the base seven. Okay, so here's the next factor shift. I need 10,000 ordinal points, and maybe this is where I want to get some automation going. I'm not sure exactly how powerful it's going to be, but um, oh, there, there is it's powerful enough to do a factor shift, so maybe I should try to get automation. Unfortunately, now I am stuck in base 7, and I need 350,000 ordinal points to factor shift. That is just yikes. I'm not sure if it's possible. I probably want to just get, I want to get to omega to the 3 times 2 so I can get 100 ordinal points. Actually, some of the automation was strong enough again, so I'm really underestimating the automation. But the thing is, I need the automation. Like, as you saw there with the base 6, I just need to get to the, enough ordinal points to be able to automate things. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty annoying how I just have to do this. This reminds me of the challenge one time walls. So I just get this, base five. It probably, honestly, it seems like it's just going to be easy all the way to, like, all the way to the Bankman Howard Ordinal. But then after that, I'm going to need to get enough incrementing. So get base four, base three, and Bankman Howard Ordinal. So now I'm going to want to try to get it enough incrementing per second. And this already isn't looking very good. I can get, okay, E55 increment T. What do I need to beat the challenge? Oh, it's only E50. I thought it was like E90 to beat the challenge. But no, I can actually do it. So this is enough. I mean, I can probably increase my singularity a few levels so I can get even more incrementy. And yeah, that's actually a surprisingly smooth Omega challenge completion. The reward is that all of power is stronger. And it's going to be... Um, raised to the 1.06 or 07 honestly power and that's enough to well that's not I'm trying to think how powerful that'll be maybe that's like gonna double it, perhaps at this point so it also gives me some oh my god challenge completions so you know how I had 71 boosters but I needed like 78 to get the upgrade that will allow me to be in base 5 well, now I, um, I think I'll be able to make it there. If I, I was at 7.89 challenge completions, that's about, if it was 8 challenge completions, I'd have about 72 boosters. So at 9, I would have 81. So that means I would have enough, just barely. But maybe it's better to go into a mega challenge 6 at this point. So here we go. I'm just going to exit the challenge. And you cannot normally buy singularity functions. Singularity is stuck at one. You can't enter normal challenges. So, let's see if this is possible. I'm stuck at singularity of one. So, I'm going to try to get as much. I'm, okay, I'm only at E57 incrementing. That's not very good. And I can't get any of this or this. So, this one seems impossible at this point. I don't, I don't see any... Like, there is booster upgrades, um, but no, it's just not going to be enough. Like there's, there's nothing I can really do here, so this Omega Challenge is impossible. However, I will try to do Omega Challenge 4 again, because this one seemed like it was possible with the correct, correct booster build, and I'm turning this auto procedure off. So, if I refund this, I have 82. That's enough to get this with four spare boosters. So I could probably get this. This is probably the best build I can do. And I have one factor shift. Just one. That's already... Actually, no. I haven't, I haven't gotten this yet. If I can do this, that usually really helps. Um, 
So let's see how many I have. I have two. I need E250 ordinal points for the next factor shift. How is that even possible? I don't think that's possible. Even with like the cardinals like this, I have E39 on every cardinal. Even with all of that, it's still just not going to be enough to get E250 ordinal points. I mean, uh, there is the markup auto clicker. I don't, I don't think I want the, the markup auto clicker. Yeah, this this is still impossible. I, I was hoping that this would be possible, but no, I'm not exactly sure what I should do after this. I do have the um, another completion, but I'm just really not sure. I grinded Tikrmeni. I grinded Inkrmeni. Could try to go back into Challenge Nine. That could be a viable option. I could also try to do some other Omega challenges. But yeah, this just seems... I could try to refund my boosters to try to get myself a better build. Like this. Like perhaps that's gonna... Like that gets me three. Actually, maybe this is possible. Because if I have three factor shifts, I can now go back into this build. And no, it re refunds the boosters. So... I think I just need more Omega Challenge completions to get Omega Challenge 4 here. Because if I can get this with, like, I'm, maybe, I'm trying to think what's actually possible here. This doesn't seem very good, because it's just, the base is reduced by 4 if it's over 7, but if it's always 5, it's going to do nothing. If I can get, I'll be 80... 82, 90, 106. If I can get 106, then I feel like this would totally change. I think what I should try to do next is Baseless Milestone 4. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.